what is the meaning of life? That's what we're talking about. What is the meaning or the purpose of life? And why are we here? And what's the point of it all? And what we were discussing yesterday was, are there any clues in the universe itself? And especially in the existence of the world itself. Is there any meaning that one can perceive in that? And we were talking about what you thought was the origin of the world itself. And we discussed several possibilities that all of us have learned almost by rote since we were school children. Uh, things like the Big Bang Theory or the idea of some decomposing substance. And really, none of them make too much sense. Some of us, of course, have been so programmed through our education that we tend to say, well, that's easy. Where did the world come from? It's easy. Evolution, that explains it all. It all came about by evolution. Uh, that's it. Uh, that's obviously proven uh, over the years now. Everybody accepts evolution. And uh, that's the explanation of the origin of the world and of the universe. And I'm happy with that. Everybody else is happy with it. All our top scientists are happy with the idea. And that's good enough for me. Uh, I, the cosmic question is too big a one for me to answer. And so I'm prepared to be led by the great thinkers of our era. And they obviously have concluded that evolution is the reason for the existence of things and it's the explanation of the origin of things and that's what I believe. Evolution I is the answer. And uh, of course evolution is not at all uh, any attempt at explaining the origin of the world. It uh, has never pretended to be such an explanation. Uh, it has never claimed to be an explanation of the origin of anything. Uh, evolution is a suggestion of the way things might have evolved after an original creation of some kind took place. And that's indeed why anybody bothers about a Big Bang Theory, because all scientists know that evolution is simply a theory or a hypothesis about the way things might have developed after the original seed, whatever that was, was created or came into existence. But evolution itself is never claimed by scientists of any stature or integrity to be an explanation of the origins of things. If anything, it is uh, what Darwin himself described it as being a possible explanation of the origin of species, but certainly not an explanation of the origin of the world and of the species. It's simply a possible explanation of the origin of species, of different forms and different types and different kinds of creatures and things. In other words, evolution is just one way in which things might have developed into their present state once there had been an original creation. But that's all it is. Indeed, evolution itself has uh, some problems as far as its own origin is concerned. Because, of course, we all glibly say, well, well, I mean... Evolution, obviously, it comes about by the uh, survival of the fittest. That's it. I mean, that's what happens. You know, the, the little moths that uh, aren't strong enough, they die off, and the ones that, that remain, they're the ones that continue. And so that's how we have certain creatures today in existence. The weak ones have uh, just fallen by the wayside. But you can see yourself that there is in that a question that begs to be asked. And the question is this, what 
programmed that direction into evolution. I mean, why should the fittest survive? Why should anything try to survive? Why should there be any urge to live? What put the urge to live or the urge to survive? What programmed things to try to survive? In other words, it's no use saying the survival of the fittest explains how evolution operates. The fact is evolution itself is a question unless we can explain how the program to survive or the program to exercise itself to maintain life came into any creatures at all. It's the same with the whole suggestion of the direction of evolution. Uh, what programmed evolution itself? Some of us say, well, I mean, I don't know, but evolution obviously is the evolution of things from simpler forms to more complex forms. That's what evolution is. Uh, things started in a single cell uh, kind of formation, and then they uh, break into two cells, and then they develop into more cells, and then they develop into more complex uh, systems. So, I mean, the ape uh, was simpler than we are, and it has a smaller brain than we have, and so our brain develops. And so evolution is simply the evolving of things from simple forms to more complex. But don't you see that there is a question to be that begs to be answered in that? What determined that things would evolve from a simple to more complex form? Why didn't things evolve from a more complex form to a simpler form? What programmed these things to operate in this way? What put the urge inside things to evolve? Even if that's the way things evolve, what programmed them to evolve that way? It's not enough to say that's the way they evolve. The question is, what made them want to do that? And, of course, some of us glibly answer, well, I, I don't know, but, I mean, it all comes about by mutation. That's uh, how it comes about. I mean, that's how uh, you get some uh, darkened moths in industrial cities as opposed to white moths. I mean, it comes from partly the effect of the environment, and then they pass the genes on to one another, and they uh, create mutations. And yet the fact is... Uh, uh, part of the reason we're all worried about the fallout from uh, nuclear disasters is that they cause mutations, but the mutations are always uh, things that uh, cause deterioration. They cause things to deteriorate, not to evolve into more beautiful and more wonderful forms, but they cause them to deteriorate. Most mutations that we know of are actually harmful things. They are not things that improve. In other words, if things like evolution are caused by mutation, then you have to ask the question, where did this beneficial mutation come from? What programmed that beneficial mutation into evolution? And so when one answers, oh, evolution, evolution caused the universe. No, it's never been claimed that evolution caused the world or the universe. The only suggestion is that evolution might be the way the universe has developed into its present state. But every suggestion we make as to how evolution took place brings us back to the questions, yes, but what programmed that direction into evolution? Inanimate objects can't create that kind of program or direction themselves. And, of course, that's the kind of statement that the so-called father of evolution, Darwin himself, made. If you have read The Origin of Species, you'll remember that the last chapter ends like this. Darwin writes, There is a grandeur in this view of life with its several powers, 
having been originally breathed by the Creator into a few forms or into one, and that whilst this planet has gone cycling on according to the fixed law of gravity, from so simple a beginning, endless forms most beautiful and most wonderful have been and are being evolved. And so even Darwin makes it clear that the origin of species is not an alternative to creation. He himself says, there is a grandeur in this view of life, with its several powers having been originally breathed by the Creator into a few forms or into one. There has to be some explanation of the origin of the thing that originally evolved. Maybe you'd think a little about that and we can discuss it a little further.